Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you doing? It's Teshwa Jogona here. And guys, how are you doing? I hope you are doing fantastic. I am well. I thank God for that. And I thank God for your lives. Because guys, you know what? We, we have to be alive to be able to, you know, to, to do things, right? So if you're watching this content, it's because you're alive and God has given you another chance yeah so guys thank you for your continued support thank you for my tiktok followers thank you for you subscribing on my youtube channel i do not take you for granted you people are amazing guys so uh let's talk about something this platform this platform is to to learn yeah is to learn anything or you know anything you, to do with UK. It can be the lifestyle, the economy, schooling, work, and so on. So the platform has quite a lot of knowledge. And remember, knowledge is power. Yeah. And um, the reason why I do this content, it's not because I know so much. No, it's because I learn from everyone, learn from you people, and you learn a little bit from me. And remember, I am not an immigration lawyer i do not own any company at the moment so i i cannot recruit i cannot give cos but i am a content creator and I, I am a person who have passion to support people to come to the uk and guys let me tell you you'll be surprised how many people have been influenced directly or indirectly to come to the uk there you know their relocation to the uk have been influenced by teshua johanna directly or indirectly so today um, um we're going to talk about something that happened a few weeks ago if you are in the uk probably you already know it and if you're probably uh from that country that from that the country that the person uh, was originally from then probably you know it but anyway let's go ahead and talk about it a few weeks ago a gentleman lost his life or the, a, a person died and uh, the person was working as a healthcare assistant and um, you know uh, from the background yeah so this is not a, uh, like a first hand information but it's an information that it's information that have been you know I've gathered from uh, from uh, what is it called uh, media social media other content creators and so on so it's not first hand but it's something that was also even in the in the uh, in the media and also something that was also in uh, from sources that are reliable that is the word i'm looking for so the gentleman died and uh looking at how you know pe what people are saying that caused his death some people are saying it was because of depression. Some people are saying it is heart attack and so on and so forth. But let's start from where it started and why some people, or um, to a larger extent, people are saying it's because of depression. This is what happened. The guy was working as a healthcare assistant and was working in a certain home. So he goes to work and he is requested to go and change a resident. Okay, I can call a resident or I can call... Um, uh, a client or but if you if you're working in the healthcare a sister maybe in a nursing home or in a residential home you find like we call them residents yeah or client mostly residents yeah if it's a domiciliary that's why that's why you will find people calling them client or something but in this case it was yeah a resident yeah so they're in a in the same home they're in the same home like there's a lot of people in the same home that are being looked after or they are vulnerable and are being looked after so the guy was told to go and uh, assist or support a resident who yeah who had you know wet themselves so he went there and was supporting the lady however uh after a few minutes another a co-worker came in and the co-worker confronted the guy and said what are you doing why are you touching that what are you touching her like that blah 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 and the guy was like how am i i'm not touching her in any um 
bad way. I'm supporting her because she had wet herself or she had peed on herself. And that is why, because to be fair, you, you, there, sh there will be a kind of con contact if it's personal care, right? So anyway, that coworker goes to the boss and tells the boss uh, what, you know, what he or she thinks the person was doing so the boss called this gentleman and asked and asked her what was happening i've been told this and this and this and the gentleman is like no 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 i wasn't doing anything uh, uh, inappropriate i was supporting the the lady as i was requested okay i'm sliding from my chair so the lady says um you know what i uh, the boss the boss says you know what i do not know who to trust between you so the only thing you can do or the the advice i'll give you is for you to resign because if i escalate the matter what will happen you might end up not being allowed to ever work with vulnerable people and remember we go through dbs yeah and dbs is what allows if you're working in a healthcare profession you go through dbs which allows you to work with vulnerable people meaning that you they should they are safe with you right so the guy i think the guy did not want any confrontation did, 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 um, you know we are all built differently um he resigned yeah he resigned because uh, someone would have been like hey 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 listen i didn't do it let's get let's go to the root cause of this i will fight it yeah but anyway in this case the the guy decided no okay let me resign so the guy resigns uh, okay stays a little bit without work and then gets a get a job yeah get a job still caring for people but in a different uh, environment in a different place so so those who had seen him uh kind of feels that since the incident he wasn't himself anymore yes he was working but he wasn't himself anymore yeah and um now this guy was found dead and you can see why people are saying it might be depression because we don't know what happened but let's assume yeah this guy did not do anything wrong yeah and you've been accused of such a thing and remember the people that we are <laughs> if you see someone in a nursing home or elderly home or man you have to be very cruel for you to even think of handling them inappropriately because actually unfortunately i don't want to use this word but there's nothing to handle there is nothing to there is nothing to make you feel that need or urge that you want to be doing anything inappropriate because these people are vulnerable these people are old yeah so you can imagine what might have happened and you know as a person i've learned that you know if I'm that kind of a person. I don't like confrontation. Yeah. And if I see that we are going to confront each other, or if I see that you kind of believe someone who has said something, instead of you finding out or reaching out of for the truth from me, what I do is I detach. I dis I detach. But what I've learned through time is that this makes you very angry inside. It eats you up. Because remember, yes, you detached. Yes, the person believed what they believed. But what is eating you is the fact that you know the truth and you never got to speak it out. Yeah? You never got... So it's, it's, it eats you every day so i'm thinking about this guy if that is what happened that thing might have really made an impact 
how he feels, how he's operating, and that's why people are saying depression killed him. Yeah. Uh, may his soul rest in peace. And now this brings me to my like what I would like us to learn today. Yeah. Unfortunate things happen to us. But if there's anything we can do to protect ourselves, then let us take that, um, those measures. Yeah? And this is what I want to say. As someone who's been in healthcare for some time now, I would say some jobs are considered to be more female-like. Yeah? I can't say as a, as a student nurse, I don't think, uh, <laughs> I think we probably have how many men? I think probably we have like five men. Five men in, my, in this whole cohort of almost a hundred students. Yeah? And now if you come to the wards, you will find men nurses don't tend to do, don't tend to go to ward, uh, to bedside care, mostly. They tend to look for, they look for paths. After doing the nursing course, they tend to look for paths that they're not in that environment. Yeah? Like bedside, ward-based. Like they'll probably do something very different. Yeah? Uh, and mostly you find that the, their roles, their roles are probably those of leadership. Yeah? So they're... Um, yeah, those of leadership. So their what is it? Their contact with patients, with uh, with clients, residents is becomes limited. I hope we are together. However, things have changed. Things are changing, and with all these uh, health and care workers visa and uh, all these people coming to the UK, you find like there's a lot of men that are joining now healthcare sector as healthcare assistants. So this is what I would like to say. When you go to the hospital and you are a woman or you, or vice versa, and probably you need to be assessed and their assessing will include probably you being naked and blah, blah, blah. You will tend to find, of course, they, they, they have to gain consent. And then the next thing, they ask for a female, a female, either doctor or co-worker to come in and witness as they do it. Yeah. So if it was like a male doctor. So this is the same thing. Male healthcare assistants should, should do. Yeah. If you are sent to someone, a female, personal care, I would like to advise you to always try, if you can, get the next, the second person who is a female to accompany you to the person you're going to assist, to cover your back. Yeah. Also, this goes to all of us now. Yeah, male, male, females. If you go to a place and you realize that because residents can, <laughs> they vary. <laughs> there is a resident that has the tendency of making false claims that probably you've done this, you've done he, she's pushed me, she, I asked her for water, she didn't bring me the water, I was yeah? please decline you, you can and when I say decline, I'm not saying do not look after the patient but what you can do explain yourself to the person you're working with and the manager and say because of this and this and this i am not happy to go to room 20. yeah another thing you should remember 
how our cases can be taken if you have someone from you're not a, a native person from this country it's not how your case will be treated compared to someone who is native from here so it's it's better if you if you cover yourself yeah one with witness if i'm going please can i go with you to number 20 because she you know how she is she accuses people of doing this and this or you might as well if you're not going to of you might as well if it's a single just say i am not happy to go there because let me tell you some people make these claims based unfortunately based on racism yeah so it's always good to cover yourself i did one day tender a resignation letter based on the clients that we had visited and had made we visit and actually i'm with someone but they make a complaint or they make a comment yeah someone did what did once make a comment saying that their husband will turn on the ground because someone of someone like me has entered their house and that woman continued to make comments and make my life a living hell so even if i go there she will say um uh can you take my dog for a wee blah 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 and you know i am not a dog person sorry to say so yeah but she could but anyway what i'm trying to say is let's take care of ourselves. uh mental mental health awareness depression is real and very real and is if there's any depression that can kill you very fast it is europe depression because we tend not to have anyone we can trust or talk to so let's learn to uh, cover ourselves let's know the rules that governs the countries that we are going to work with and also it's good sometimes to stand your ground and sometimes fight if you are on the right if you have the knowledge if you are on the right sometimes it's good to stand your ground yeah also look for someone you can trust and talk it out right talk it out it helps i do understand that we tend not to have people we can trust we tend not to have families around but let's be together let's support each other let's reach out let's look out for one another and let's be kind until next time it's Teshua Jona. ciao